there folks and welcome back to a radical track guide where we are at Sebring the bumpiest place on earth and in a low sprung little race car like this you do notice the bumps be warned if you have a relatively strong will your shoulders will be not thanking you after a few races around here anyway let's show you the info tab first of all so track temp is 79 Fahrenheit should be exactly the same to what you experience in the uh, race itself because this is a fixed series so we have fixed setup you can see here the setup is identical to Sebring one thing with the radical series that I don't think is any other series that they do have different setups for each track I don't think any other one does that I'm probably wrong but anyway track usage is 45% is what I always use on my track guides uh, try and get it roughly in the middle so if it's low usage less grip high usage will be more grip so you can you know which one's which there so if it is high usage you should have more grip with me and maybe go a little bit quicker uh, unless you've got more talent which will probably definitely go quicker than i will uh laps i'm going to show you is right down here oh you can just about see above my head i hope you can anyway a 154 366 now my lap times were all over the 55s you know a few spins in there 54s was a decent lap but I had this one problem with this one corner. I will point it out on the track guide. And the Radical, for whatever reason, just kept understeering or over rotating at the rear. So a bit of oversteer under braking really has some trouble nailing that corner. So yeah, that, until I got that corner right, I was not going to leave this track. And subsequently, that gave me a 54.366. So yeah, that's the lap I'm going to show you. Above my head and probably over there and there and all over the place. Uh, I'm going to show you how I get into these sessions to try and get them as close as possible as I can to the race setup. Uh, or the race session i should say because obviously these are pre-recorded so trying to get that right is uh, is relatively important and also my discord where the olap blap telemetry and replay file will all be there so you can see exactly what i'm doing on the track you can also get a little schedule that i've made up on a google docs page to see what track guides i'm doing or planning to do in the season or i've already done in previous seasons so if you pick a series have a look on there i think i've got the formula v skippy radical fixed ferrari gt3 and then the gt3 challenge in b class so yeah if you follow one of them series have a look on one of those tabs and you can see what track guys have done in the past to try and help you out otherwise enough waffling let's crack on with the guide right then sebring in the dark and i will mention that the uh chase cam in the top right hand corner is kind of redundant because you might not be able to see anything but i'll keep it there nonetheless anywho turn one tricky little rascal this there is a little dip of the pit lane wall and that's you can't really see it but you can when you're in it in the sim if that makes sense so that's my breaking point into that dip fourth gear get as close as you dare to the wall but do not run wide because again there's not a lot of curb to run off and uh, it will be carnage number three cone and the white line across the track is a good breaking point here all the way down to second gear nice and smooth around here avoid the curves because it's bumpy enough as it is without the curves having more issues in there quick change up into third so go full throttle for a bit and then at this curve on the right hand side dip of the brakes down into second again a nice late late apex here avoid the apex curves it is mount everest absolutely huge and then just feed in the power and hopefully don't run too far wide there because it's very very dangerous quick straight now all the way down to turn seven i think it is the hairpin very awkward this to lock a gear very lock a gear lock a wheel very easy to do that so number four cone breaking the straight line all the way down to first gear for me you can use second through here just make sure you don't understeer too far wide because the track sort of comes back at you about here and then curves around quite nicely accelerate shortest distance as best we can again bumps here so just be mindful of them avoid the curves again and we're coming into this very tricky braking zone slower corner than it actually looks if that makes sense so th three or four cone again first cone marker anyway all the way down to second gear it feels like you're stopping at this point but it narrows up really tight here so just be mindful of that don't take too much speed into it you just understeer wide onto the grass again now i do hit the curb there so bear that in mind try not to do that it's a little bit bumpy and uh, you know doesn't uh, it upsets the car a little bit anyway three cone marker we as we kind of see that over to the left hand side of the screen breaking a straight line this is the cheeky little rascal i could not get right so i am taking a little bit slower than i potentially would have i could not get the radical around there nine times out of ten so just be cautious around there take a bit slower get a good exit because we do have a long full throttle zone all the way on these curves and then come into the final sort of complex section of the car, car kind of call it so three cone again breaking in the straight line down to third gear start breaking into the apex don't go over the other side of the curb you can do it in gt cars you can't do it in the radical you just bottom out so just be nice and smooth on the curb but not too far at the end of this curb you want to start braking for the final corner basically until sunset and again you want to clip the curb but don't run on the inside of it because it is a drop and do not run wide easy way to wheel spin and hit the wall on the right hand side 
good exit out of there will help lap time because this is a quite a long straight slipstream will definitely be a thing around here around the three straights you got so just be mindful of that and we are coming into sunset so at the three cone that just disappeared we start turning in and we don't want to be too close to the wall we want to be on that white yellow line you just saw flash pass break down in a straight line through sunset down to third gear and then at the bridge you want to be on your apex on the right hand side kind of double apex because i want to be on that white uh, sorry yellow line over on the right hand side there on pit entry but don't understeer too far wide on the wall on the left so just bear that in mind so that is us coming across the line and the line does appear quite quickly so bear that in mind and that's us rocking a 154 366 which considering that little corner that little cheeky rascal that i mentioned was preventing me from getting that i'm quite chuffed with no idea what the actual aliens will be doing, probably in the 53s knowing them. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed this helps you out find a little bit of time. Let me know in the comments how you get along at this race. It's going to be at night, so just be cautious and remember to finish first. First you have to finish. Catch you on the next one.